Want to reach way more visitors by making your Elementor site multilingual without touching a single line of code? In this video, I'll show you how to translate your entire Elementor site, from headers to footers, pop-ups, and even SEO elements using TranslatePress, the easiest WordPress translation plugin out there. And yes, it works with both the free and pro versions of Elementor. First, make sure you have your Elementor site already up and running. Then head to Plugins, Add New, and search for TranslatePress. Click Install and make sure to also activate it after. That's it, no extra setup needed. TranslatePress works out of the box with Elementor. Once installed, the next step is to choose which languages your site should support. Go to Settings, TranslatePress, and stay on the General tab. Here you can choose your default language, the one that your site is already in. With the free version of the plugin, you have the option to add one additional language, whereas with the pro version, you can add as many languages as you want. In my case, I will add Spanish and French. Good, so now that the plugin is installed and ready to go, let's move forward and actually translate our Elementor website. TranslatePress offers both manual and automatic translations. I will start by walking you through the manual process first, but stay till the end if you want to see how to save time with AI translations. So from the front end, click Translate Page in the admin bar. This opens the visual editor where you can just click on any element or widget, text block, button or title and add your translation on the left sidebar. For example, click on a heading, enter your translated text and hit save. You can repeat this for any text on the page, even if it's a dynamic string. The plugin also picks up content inside menus, contact forms and even Elementor pop-ups. Just click on them from the visual editor like any other content. If you can see it, you can translate it. Let's take this example right here, this pop-up. To access the pop-up's translations, click on Translate page at the top and manually input the translations you want. And that's it! Let's play with some more advanced options next. Let's say you want a specific section of your website to only be visible in a certain language and not in all language versions. Click on the section and go to the Advanced tab. Here you will see the Restrict by Language option. Enable it and select the language in which you would like to show the selected element. Hit Save and you're done. The element will be shown only in the selected language. Now let's say you want to hide a specific section for one language, while the rest of the language versions display it. Well, you can use the Exclude from Language option right below the previous one. Now you can display an element in all languages, except the ones that you selected. Great! So now you know how to manually translate your entire website, which is a super easy solution if you want to add a few extra languages to your site. But what if you want to add a lot of additional languages, or you simply do not have time to manually translate each piece of your content individually? Well, you can use automatic translation to instantly translate your site using TranslatePress AI. With your languages set up in the general settings area, you can just go to the automatic translations tab and enable it. Here, you'll be able to see the number of AI translation words included in your plan. If you can't see this, you might need to activate your TranslatePress license. You can get a free one with a limited number of words or a premium one, depending on your needs. Once you save your changes, TranslatePress will use these available words to instantly translate the content of your Elementor website. If you run out of AI words, you can always get more from your TranslatePress account page. Now, if you prefer to use Google Translate or DeepL with your own API key, you can always do that as well from the Alternative Engine sections here. Just note that you'll have to do the setup yourself in this case. This means creating your Google Translate or DeepL account, fetching an API key and connecting it to your site. And that's it! Your Elementor site is now multilingual, SEO-ready and international user-friendly. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for even more WordPress and translation tutorials. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. See you next time. Bye.